Hi, welcome back to the course. My name is Bhushan. In the previous video, we have created a controller class and also we have created a JSP page and we tested our application. So now our application is up and running. So in this video, we are going to add a few more dependencies like the MyBetis dependency and the Spring and MyBetis integration dependency and the MySQL connector for Java dependency. So all these required dependencies for our application we are going to add in this video. So let's get started. So I'll jump into the browser and I'll go to the Maven repository. So I'm going to search for MyBetis. So in this application, we are going to use MyBetis 3. So I'll go to the MyBetis first one and I'll search for 3.0.4 and I'm going to copy the dependency and I'll open the pom.xml and I'll paste it and I'll format it select everything control shift F and I'm going to change the comment to support for MyBetis actually the MyBetis first version and the second version will be call it as iBetis but from the release of 3 we are going uh, the people are started calling it as MyBetis I mean the iBetis team has redesigned or the renamed it as a MyBetis so the iBetis and MyBetis both are same the iBetis which is first version and the second version MyBetis which is other than the higher than the third version so next we are going to add the Spring and MyBetis integration Maven dependency. So I'll go to the Maven repository. I'm going to search for MyBetis Spring. Select the first one. And we're going to use the version, the old version, which is 1.0.0. Select the Maven, copy the Maven dependency and paste it inside the pom.xml and I'll change the comment to spring mybetis integration and last we are going to add the mysql connector for java I'll search for mysql connector java select the first one and we are interested in the version 5.1.13 which is also our latest one copy the dependency and add it to pom.xml I'll change the comment to MySQL connector Java support. It's nice to comment for every dependency because later you will understand or you will easily find out the dependency which you have added. And we are going to add up one more dependency which is for C3P0 which is for connection pooling. We'll go to the Maven repository and I'll search for C3P0. and select the second one which is C3P0 JDBC data sources or resource pools and we are interested in 0.9.1.2 which is the latest one copy the dependency and add it to the pom.xml let's save this this will take a few minutes to download all the dependencies from the Maven repository so once it is done now you go to the libraries and go to the Maven dependencies you can see all the required jars like the Java EE API which we have added in our previous video and you can see the MyBetis and the MyBetis spring integration and also the C3P0 and the MySQL connector so that now we have added all our required dependencies to make this application we have added to the pom.xml so in the next video we are going to create a service layer and the DAO layer and we are going to 
create a model classes to our application and we're going to integrate the spring and mybetis so that is coming up in the next video i will see you in the next video